hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in the today's video we will see how we can install cyber panel on the one tooth operating system so let's start with the video first you have to connect to the ec2 instance on which you want to install the cyber panel so i am already connected to my server so first you have to update the packages so you can use command sudo apt update and then you can use command sudo apt upgrade then to install the cyber panel you can use this command copy paste this command select one to install the cyber panel so select one and then you have to select the first option install cyber panel with open light speed press y for the full installation and do you want to set up remote mysql so I want the local in MySQL to be installed so you can skip this and press no so this will install the MySQL on your server press enter to continue with the latest version so you can uh, enter the password for the admin portal so select so select S for the set password and enter your password And confirm password do you wish to install the uh, PHP extensions select no and redis extension select no and then if you want to kill the watchdog press Y and press enter This will take 15 to 20 minutes to complete the process. So would you like to restart the server now? I am selecting no for now. So our cyber panel is installed successfully. So you can visit this IP to open up the cyber panel. So let's open it in new tab. click on advance proceed to IP so it's working fine enter your username and password which you have set during the installation click on sign in So it's working fine so let's create one website so you can select package first default owner admin so I have domain name called vcoder.in so I'm using this domain and email address I am using codercastle.com PHP version 7.4 and I am selecting DKIM support and create website so website successfully created go back and then you have to create name servers for name servers so we have to create two name servers in our domain name so let's go to the godaddy panel so i have this domain name so you have to click on host names and you can add two host names ns1 and ns2 with the ip of server so i have already created these two name servers 
and then you have to change the name server to custom one so you can click on change and then enter my own name servers so I have already entered the name servers so I can use these name servers in my cyber panel ns1 dot bcoder dot in so here I have to enter the domain name and first name server and IP address of the server so I can copy the IP from here also or from the server and and enter second name server and enter the same IP address so these are the name servers create these name servers so record successfully created so then you have to go to the SSL certificates and you have to create a SSL certificate for website manage SSL and you can select the website and issue SSL certificate so SSL issued for bcoder.in in the same way you can click on hostname SSL and select the website and issue SSL certificate so now you can access your cyber panel domain colon 8090 IP also so let's log out open the domain bcoder dot in colon 8090 IP so as you can see cyber panel is working on our domain also so enter the username and password after that you have to issue the certificates for mail server also so you can select the domain and issue SSL certificate for mail server so it's successfully done so one more step which is very important we have to set up a reverse DNS in our server so you can go to your server panel and click on the network tab and then you have to enter your domain name in the reverse DNS record I have already added my domain name so you can verify this also by this website uh, you have to enter your IP so this will look up for the reverse DNS records so as you can see this is showing bcoder.in which is very very important step so let's go to the uh, cyber panel and click on email list email so no email exists for this domain so you can click on the create email select website let's say I want to create a support email support at bcoder.in and password create email so my mail is successfully created so to log in this email I can use the web panel log in this email so this is working fine so we will send an email so first we have to restart the server so let's re reboot the server now so this will take some time to be available one more thing I want to highlight that our ports must be open like 8090 for cyber panel this must be open 80443 UDP 443 so this port must be open so you have to make sure so these ports must be open for your server so let's check if the server is up yeah server is working fine 
so let's log in again click on email and access the email so let's send one message to dot thing dot com testing this is first mail and send so you can check in the send section and let's verify if we have received an email yes we have received an email so you can check the conf configurations signed by bcoder.in mail by bcoder.in so let's reply this email received your email and send in the inbox section you can refresh the panel so we have received an email so in this way we can set up our own email server using the cyber panel so if you get any issue or error while installing the cyber panel so you can comment in the comment section i would love to reply if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon for latest video notifications thanks for watching